Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Ralph the PC Tech, and here go my top five GPUs. Now, this is my personal opinion, and on the time of making this video, these are my top five. Now, these GPUs, in my opinion, is the best bang for your buck. So up first, I'm gonna go with the MSI GTX 960. This car got two gigs of GDDR5 RAM and comes in around 195. Dollars and this card is very overclockable and also includes a free game, so you really can't beat that deal, guys. It's still so if you got two hundred dollars to spend on a GPU, I would definitely recommend this card. Up second is the R9 380X. This card also comes with two gigs of GDDR5 RAM. It comes in around two hundred and ninety dollars, and this card is made by MSI also. And this card is overclockable, so if you get around two hundred dollars, I will highly recommend this card also. Only a few dollars um, over the GTX 960 and offers better performance, but the drawback to the GPU, it does consume a lot of power and dissipate a lot of heat. So if you're going to be running this car, make sure you have a case with good airflow. Up third is the R9 290. Now this car comes with 4 gigs of GDDR5. The car comes in around 260. Now when this car first came up, it was around $500. Bitcoin brought this car way up to around $700. So at 260, you get 4 gigs of GDDR5 RAM. This card is an absolute stale. You can play games at 1080p and 1440p. Expect 1080p, you can max out most of your games. Up fourth is the MSI GTX 970. This card, even though it advertised as having 4 gigs of GDDR5, is more like 3.5. But nevertheless, this card is a beast and is very overclockable. The card comes in around $340 and also comes with a free game. Up next is the R9 390. This GPU comes in around 330 bucks. That's ten dollars cheaper than the GTX 970, and this is the king of GPUs when it comes to price for performance. This GPU got eight gigs of GDDR5 memory compared to the GTX 970 that only offers you 3.5 gigs. Now, when it comes to gaming, you can expect to max out your games at 1080p. You can even handle 1440. 4K, I don't think this car is quite capable of handling 4K gaming, but for 1080p and 1440 at a price point of $330, you cannot go wrong. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, feel free to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and like always, I'll catch you on my next video. Peace.